many of us know, movie star Tom Cruise. ...towed by tractors and in giant trucks. Over the next two months, enough apples to make 30 million gallons of cider will be harvested. Bulmers expect to pick around 20,000 tonnes of apples in their own orchards. And this year's crop is so good, the company can't cope with all the apples being offered by other growers. At Bulmers' 250-acre orchard on Westonbury Farm, Pembridge, new machines have revolutionised the harvesting process. This contraption grips the trunk and then shakes all the apples off the tree. Remarkably, the tree is none the worse for the ordeal. In fact, it's thought the annual shake-up may even help to strengthen the roots. Next, a powerful fan-driven blower moves along the rows, blasting the apples out from under the trees. The apples are scooped up off the ground by a picker and then added to the stockpile for loading onto trucks to take them to the factory. It looks very encouraging, actually, in spite of the frost that uh, a lot of people suffered from uh, early in this spring. Um, cider fruit came through remarkably well, so yes, throughout the whole county it's a very heavy crop. You use a lot of mechanisation these days. Is harvesting cider apples an easy job? It's a lot easier than it used to be. Um, gone in a lot of places are the traditional methods of handshaking with poles, etc., and gathering up from the ground. Uh, all in all, it's become a very mechanised system nowadays. There's nothing old-fashioned about the way Bulmers harvest their apples, but there are still links with the past. The company's 1,800 acres of orchards still grow ancient varieties like Yarlington Mill, Red Streak and Brown Snout. But whatever the variety, they still succumb to the force of gravity, with little help from the shaker. News from the soccer world now. Hereford United Football Club's captain has admitted...